what is up? So I'm just leaving the store right now and I thought that it would be the perfect opportunity to make this video um, while I'm driving home. So, um, like, I have been really working these past couple of weeks. I was sick for a few days, um, a little longer than a few days. I think I was like sick for like five days or so with like a cold. Um, and I'm all good now. So that's good. But, uh, so I've been working on getting something going with my business and just with my life in general to really just like launch me forward. I feel like I have tried so many things in the past and just nothing really stuck. And it started to make me feel stuck. It started to make me feel like I was stuck <laughs> and didn't know where to go didn't know what the hell to do like and I was still trying though you know still still trying like so um I started following and listening and kind of getting like some mentorship from two people one of them was uh well is uh Brendan Burchard I keep wanting to say Brandon. <laughs> um, Brendan Burchard, he has a bunch of businesses. Um, I think he's like a multi-millionaire. I'm, I'm not sure. I've only paid attention to what he's teaching. I haven't really paid attention to actually what he does in his own life. But um, he does these courses, you know, like he does mentorship and kind of life coaching a little bit and everything like that um and it's it's really really good stuff it's really really great stuff like so much good and I've, I've made so many good changes just from watching him starting a few weeks ago um and then the other person is Kong he's a real estate see, investor and wholesaler and he's kind of like someone I've been following on Instagram and I've watched now a few of his YouTube videos he really does dive deep into um, wholesaling how to get started what's the process of it what you have to do and then he also does sessions where he actually helps people kind of role play cold calling sellers and stuff like that so um, you know it's it's been eye-opening and I'm like I feel like this is something that definitely I could do if I really put my mind to it and I really like tried <clears throat> but anyway one of the things that uh, Brendan had talked about was accountability and basically how holding yourself accountable and it's even better if you have one person or a group of people that you can kind of, you know, together all keep yourself, like, accountable for, like, your stuff, you know. Um, and he said one of the things that you could do is kind of make a live on Facebook or on YouTube or do a video or whatever. Just kind of talking about your, what you've done that week. Um, not to talk about what you're going to do because you don't want, like, that false like gratification of doing something you haven't even done yet <laughs> and I feel like I suffer from that sometimes um so basically I'm on here to tell you guys like what I learned and that's telling you about like Brendan and I, I do believe like and and all of his advice you can benefit in many areas of your life so he has videos like on how to communicate better. And I mean, that's not just for business. That's not just for school. That's not just for work. Like that is everybody literally could learn to communicate better. I'm not even kidding. So, you know, that was one thing that, um, it's a really weird sound. I think it's just a street, but I don't like, I hate when I'm sitting in my car and I'm driving and like, I, I feel like I'm like a, like a, what would, 
what would you call somebody like because you have like people who are like hypochondriacs who are like always like oh my god something's wrong with me like they feel weird and they're like oh my god I have cancer um <laughs> I feel like I'm that way with my car it starts making a weird noise or just something I instantly I'm like oh my god I gotta diagnose it what is it what's going on like <laughs> But anyways, so, um, just in the past few weeks, some things that I have definitely learned, I mean, I've, I've had my eyes opened to just trying to learn to plan better, trying to learn to prioritize better and create better habits. I learned that from Brendan. I got his high performance planner, which I haven't really exactly put into use just yet um but I need to I really I suck at planners I love planners and I, ha I always buy them and then I, I never use them but I feel like this one's gonna be different this was different <laughs> um but just in the past few weeks I have launched myself so much further than I've been in years and I and ecstatic about it like I'm super happy about it so I definitely want to share so some of you who are following me you know that I now have a website it's been a while since I've had a website my last website was whenever I was selling um, I have my online store uh, didn't do so well <laughs> um, just because I, I came I ran into some things that happened I didn't know what to do so I just it just stopped um, but I have my website now. I don't sell anything. I don't provide anything like services wise. It's simply to right now just kind of act as a engagement and to bring more people, to build more of an audience. You know what I'm saying? So whenever my business does actually launch, I have this following already and I have people who already know my mission and what I want to do and how I want to do it so I have more of um, a chance <laughs> and I also have my Instagram that I started that you know I feel like I want to be posting more and engaging more I have been sick so that's kind of you know like been kind of a uh, uh, complication just because I don't want to be on the phone when I'm freaking sick like <laughs> I haven't posted anything at all because I'm like I don't want to I don't want to do nothing um and you know I have my domain I have a business account set up like a business you know like financial account set up um I've done some investments but I don't know if I'm going to keep up with those just because I don't know what I'm doing and you know when it comes to stocks and stuff like that and I'd rather just put my money in savings and save it but um anyway yeah so I've written quite a few articles for the um for the website some blog posts you know about some things and so I'm like super happy about that super proud about that I'm just really excited for what is to come and I'm really happy that I'm actually doing something you know I got my laptop and everything last year and I feel like I haven't really actually put it to use and I, you know, I've, I've made videos for YouTube and everything like that, but I haven't really actually put it to use. And so I'm really happy that now I feel like I'm actually doing something and it's something that I'm passionate about and something that I enjoy doing. I love talking about interior design. I love talking about, you know, things that have to do with the house and, and decorating it and all of that good stuff. You know, I really love that. I've been wanting to start a business in that field for years now but I never knew where to start and I always thought I needed a degree and I needed this and I needed that and luckily I found out that in Arizona no you do not need a degree or even a certificate even though that's what I'm doing I'm actually taking a course for interior design and also a course for um um architecture as well um and then learning more things on my own, always looking up like what's the trends, what's going on right now, like 
to keep myself up to date. And I can't wait to start doing some kind of like work. Of course, whenever you start out, you got to do like kind of pro bono work. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and kind of share like what I've been doing and what I've been learning. And, you know, I've learned a lot about basically just getting stuff done, not thinking about like, you know, trying to have like a a plan of like, okay, I need to, you know, I want to get here. I'm more focusing and learning better about focusing on the steps versus the end result because I feel like that's where I sabotage myself is I'm always so focused on like how it should like the results and then I try to be too much of a perfectionist and I sabotage myself you know so that's another thing that I'm learning not to do and to just take it step by step by step and see the progress as it progresses instead of I got to get here and then I don't get there because I'm too focused on getting there instead of focusing on the steps I need to get there that then I like get discouraged and I'm like, well, you know, and so, (laughs) um, definitely some, some things that I am working on. And then like also with my kids, you know, we are really trying to make better, routines for our day and handle situations a whole lot better. I feel like in the past week, we've gotten really good at that. I find myself not yelling at them as much. Um, And they, you know, they're still kind of having like tiffs with each other. I mean, they're freaking, they're around the same age. One's a boy, one's a girl, completely different personalities. They clash like no other like it's literally like cold air and hot air like it just yeah um but we've been trying to focus better on you know how we treat each other and everything and I feel pretty positive about how it's going we have affirmation cards so I have a set of affirmation cards just for myself and they have a set of empowerment cards and They get to pick one every single morning and it either does an action or something like that. Or it says for them to tell them, you know, things that they like about themselves or just, you know, stuff that teaches them about empowerment, teaches them about their body, their feelings, their emotions, and how to have compassion for themselves. So I really like that. It's really cute. And um, we have um some other kind of like workbooks that kind of help us with our feelings expressing our feelings that you know we've been kind of dabbling into as well as trying to start our mornings off better trying to start our mornings off more productive and really like set the tone for the day to be positive to be productive and to you know um be oriented in some way, goal oriented or, you know, positive oriented, just have a set mindset for the day. So, um, I really, I'm really glad that we are starting to get into that and it's becoming more and more, um, of a habit and it will turn into an actual solid habit the more we do it. Um, and so, yeah, lots of, lots of good things have been happening, even though with me being sick, like good things have happened. And I am, you know, I got to put my e break on. <laughs> I'm, I'm super excited and I'm happy. You know, we've had some hiccups in like other areas of life or whatever, but we're just kind of like ignoring all the negativity and letting the positivity flow in. And, um, soon we will be also kind of moving more into our own space which will be really nice and will help in many ways as well but I just wanted to share that and you know also kind of see like what you guys are doing is there like something you're trying to start rather it be a course a business maybe you're trying to start reading more books maybe you're trying to start you know working out more or whatever like what are some things that in the past week you felt like you have done 
that's really enabled you to evolve and to become a better you. If nothing's happened, what are some things that you're just glad about that happens? You know, let me know down in the comments below something that, you know, something happened that just really made you happy or even just tell me the simplest things like tell me you know did you get a really nice compliment did somebody you know did one day you just seem to get all kinds of compliments about your hair or about your clothes or you know were your kids really good on Thursday like just anything that you're you're happy about and that you felt was really really positive that you want to share let me know down in the comments I definitely want to read those let's spread some pos- you know some positivity let's open up like the doors for everyone to just like share more positive things versus negative um I definitely would like to hear and I will come back um next week share what I've learned in the next week and share what I've done and then you guys can do the same but, um, yeah, so I will, uh, I'll see you guys next week. Um, good things will always happen. Just say to yourself, you know, I believe in freaking miracles. Me and my kids have been doing that daily. We're just like, we believe in miracles. Like, we believe that good things happen to good people. And just trying to believe more in that. Let's make. 2021 you know a good year versus last year and not allow things to hold us back so especially engaging with people let's let's do more of that let's engage more and really take the time to be in a good space with everybody around us and if there's people who can't be bye (laughs) but anyway i'll see you guys next week um be sure to comment below and uh yeah can't wait to read what you guys say if anyone says anything (laughs) bye